I'm going to introduce you to a couple of people in my life. <laughs> uh, four people who uh, were a part of my life for a good three or four years running. And um, uh, Pooner, Gun, Easton, and Penny. Now, you're probably wondering, Jesse, these aren't, these aren't people, these are characters. And uh, you're right, they are. And they were part of a comic strip that I wrote and that I was doing for, like I said, three or four years, called Sherrod's Corner. Now don't ask me where the name came from. I don't know, I don't remember. It was a, um, it was a kind of a placeholder for an actual title, and I never changed it. So it just became Sherrod's Corner. Ended up becoming Pooner's last name, the uh, main character, kind of. I don't really think that any of them were main characters per se. I started the comic strip as a, kind of a reflection of all the craziness that was going on in my life at the time, but also a way of kind of dealing with like what was going on in my head at the time. A lot of the stories were exaggerated. There were some stories that I told using the comic strip that weren't exaggerated at all. Uh, one, for example, a uh, one of the uh, characters uh, that I it was like the one negative, like the pure negative character was actually based on someone we knew, we knew at the time. Um, he's kind of a complete, he was one of those people that everybody knew the moment he walked into the room, everybody was like, oh, they're here. And uh, at, we would get together like every Sunday or so, we would play Halo, like the large group of us. And then, so this group of us that would play Halo, um, we're like, we should do like a Super Bowl Sunday type thing where we'd like play Halo during the commercials or whatever. So everybody came over and we weren't expecting this particular person to show up. But when he did, we were like, uh, let's see how long we can get him to leave for. You know, like, let's get him out of the house. And so someone was like, hey, you should go get some ice. And they were like, okay, yeah, I can go get some ice. Um, do you have any money? And we're like, ice is like, at the time it was like, bag, like two bucks a bag. A big bag of ice and he's like well you know with gas getting there and we're like it's like literally right down the street dude and he's like yeah but you know it's an inconvenience for me to go out and we're like fine whatever here here's your two dollars so he reaches in his pocket and he pulls out his keys well at the same time he does, does that all of a sudden we have a waterfall of coins dumping out of his pocket and they weren't just like nickels and dimes. These were quarters. I had a pocket full of quarters. Okay, a lot of quarters. To the point that where, like, they were still falling when everybody stopped and was staring, kind of falling. And it was one of those moments where um, our friend Missy leans over and goes, oh my God, you've got to do a comic based on this. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> And uh, that particular character became kind of the uh, the punching bag. I made a fifth character at that time, and uh, that person became the punching bag of the other four. Pooner was kind of like, I, I originally, when I originally created it, I wasn't thinking long term. I was just doing them like one at a time. Like, I started doing them like every Wednesday, and I would uh, I did, I would do a bunch of them uh, at work because I, at, at the time I didn't have a lot going on at work. It's not as busy as it is nowadays. Um, so I would have a, like a lot of downtime and I would use that downtime to do these comics up. Um, so I would have a bunch of them worked up together and uh, every Wednesday I would post them and it was on um, Open, Diary. Open Diary. I would post every Wednesday and like I said I didn't have this like long term goal of what I wanted to do with them. They were just these characters that I was putting in these goofy situations and um, like Random, yeah, ran, random people started following and started commenting and reading these. And so I was like, one day I sat down and was like, okay, I want to do something with these set of characters. And so I, I started writing out kind of ideas and sort of like planning scripts. And every week for two years straight, I was posting these comics. And then I did a, I did like a 30 day challenge, I think, where I did, you know, it was like Vlogmas before Vlogmas. I just, every day I posted a comic. Um, and luckily enough, I, I had a lot of help from a uh, website called uh, Comic Creator. I'm not 100% sure of that name. Strip Creator, I'll insert the title, correct title here. That's kind of where I got the three panel, just, you know, three panels and then 
to put the characters in and then type in words. After I called them, I kind of broke them, I didn't really break them down into seasons, but as I have them saved on my computer, I have them broken down into seasons. And I noticed the art shift after the 30 days, like the 30 days of when I was working on them, because I started doing more than just three panels. I started kind of playing with the idea of like one panel or like multi, like four or five different panels or, you know, I was doing different things and not just with, with the characters and the story, but even how I was presenting the art and stuff. And I, I always had fun doing it. Every once in a while, Summer will go, so when are you starting it back up? And I'll- Not just me. I know, yeah, I know. Missy, Missy has asked me a couple of times too. And I have, I have plenty of times I've started writing like, okay, this is what I want to do. And a lot of it, like, I want to push myself, like, the writing and kind of the art at the same time. Maybe. But Summer wants me to start small. So who knows? Maybe you'll see, uh, maybe you'll see Shrouds Corner again soon, one day. That's it for this week's Saturday Shenanigans. You've met the, uh, the Corner crew. And, uh, so until next time, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, just remember, angry cats go fey, fey, fey.